All right, this is Sam36 here for Nerds of New Sexy Entertainment. We're capping off the month of movies with Howard the Duck. I've never seen this movie. Uh, Wild highly recommends it and, in fact, has degraded me, belittled me, and just said terrible, terrible things to me because I have not watched it yet. So finally, this is how we're going to cap off the month of movies. Do a little review of this. Uh, there's some duck sex, apparently, so uh, look forward to uh, how this turns out. It's actually a fun fact. This is supposed to be an animated film, but due to a contractual obligation, the decision was made to make it into a live-action film, giving us this wonderful cinematic classic that is the winner of five, count them, five Razzie Awards, including Worst Screenplay, Worst Picture, Worst Supporting Actor, and a couple others I don't remember. I had actually more fun reading the bad reviews on IMDb than <laughs> I think that was the highlight of this movie. Starting up, I am the dark lord of the universe. <laughs> Wild is not here anymore. There's no more Jennings. <laughs> no, no, I fucked up my throat. Hello everyone, I am Wildfire One. You are watching and listening to New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. This is the month of movies. It's a uh, I don't know if you know the guy next to me. Sam36. Yeah, yeah, he's been with us a few times. Uh, this is episode 113. We're, today we watched what? We watched Howard the Duck. And it's it's also the last of the month of movies. It is. It uh, is. So we decided we were going to go out with a bang. And he's never seen it. I don't know if you would call it Howard the Duck um, <laughs> was going, going out with a bang. <laughs> was going Maybe going out with a bust. A quack. Going out, yeah, going out with a quack. <laughs> a quack. Going out with viewing a colossal waste of money. I don't know. Was a lot really? Of you didn't like it? You're telling me you didn't like it? It was 80s in the most 80s way possible. It's good for a laugh. It was entertaining. But every 80s stereotype that exists was in that movie. It is housed in this <laughs> small little package. So, I made you do kind of a, a, an opening for this without knowing what you were getting into. Yeah, I was promised there would be duck sex. There was no duck sex, <laughs> but there were duck boobies. There was a lot of duck a, boobies. Yeah, the, the beginning. And I, I don't know how to feel. I mean, feathered boobies with like a nipple on it. I just, I'm probably going to need some therapy. What? Yeah. 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 I'll send you the bill. Let's let's start at the beginning where I where I basically talked you into watching this. All right. So I was born in the late '80s, but uh, I have seen like none of the classics. So what did we throw out there? We threw out there. I threw I out there Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. I threw uh, out there Conan. Conan. I, yeah. I told you. Uh, Never uh, Princess story. Bride. Never Ending Story. Prince Bride. All of which I've seen none of. He he got to choose. And I, and I was like, okay, so probably the worst one out of all of those, not necessarily movie-wise, but like the worst one maybe that'll blow his mind would be Howard the Duck. Because Howard the Duck is, I mean, you can't describe it other than it's Howard the Duck. It was the perfect movie for us to watch together yes. with our sense of humor. Just the comments that we had were, it made the movie that much more fun because <laughs> of all the terrible things we said. <laughs> Well, let's get let's get into the uh, the actors in the movie uh, before we get into the story and maybe some of our reactions and such. Yeah, Leah Thompson, Jeffrey Jones, Tim Robbins, Howard the Duck. <laughs> it says in quotes. Wow. Like he was in the movie. Fun fun fact: there were eight different actors that uh, filled in the Howard the Duck suit. Yes. Uh, Leah Thompson almost gave a duck hand job and Jeffrey Jones who was convicted of child pornography and trying to solicit a 17 year old boy back in 2002 oh, uh, you I look at him in an entirely different light in this After movie watching that. <laughs> yeah so many things make sense now you see Howard walking around and the only thing I'm thinking is he's like you know this the, it's a kid in a duck suit and three foot two three foot two and I just keep thinking Run, Howard! Run. <laughs> Leah Thompson, of course, brought her sexiness into this. Very 80s. Uh, a lot of hair. I'm pretty sure they went through three tankers of Aquanet to make this movie. <laughs> the hole in the ozone layer may be directly attributed to this film. <laughs> I just, I don't know. 
a kid. I don't. I don't think some of those people actually ever washed it out of their hair. I think remnants of Howard the Duck costume design are still in some of those actors' hair with that Aquanet. So okay, we'll start it off. The, the beginning of the movie starts off in Duck World, I would say. That's the only thing we can call it. Everything is a play on words with waterfowl. Here, here he is. You got you get to see Howard walking in the door. He's got his own life. Yeah, uh, just throw, he's, he's a regular dude. An eighties, an eighties, an eighties bachelor doing his thing. Obviously, a woman's man, a ladies' man. Yeah, he's right? a ladies' man. He's got ladies on the answering machine. Fun fact: couldn't tell you the last time I actually saw a movie that had an uh, an answering, answering machine in it. Kind of like just forgot that those things even you know existed. And then you can't forget uh, play duck. Oh yeah, he opens a play so, duck, looks at centerfold of play duck. That was where the first instance of duck boobies occurred. Yes, but not the last. But not the last. It happens not too long after that. Yes, you get live duck boobies. Yeah. So pretty sure she was getting herself off in that bath too. She was singing. And she was talking about being she, in love. And yep, she was doing something. I think she had a duck-headed dildo. I didn't see the hands. That's all I'm saying. Duck-headed dildo. Now that's another thing. Ducks have. A certain type of genitalia. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I, and this will come into play later. Like, there's, they're known to have corkscrew dicks, right? Yes. Getting back to the story, just remember we said that. That yeah. will come back later, full circle. We, uh, so we get, we go further in the story. Something happens. There's like an earthquake thing going on, and, and Howard's chair is pulled out of the room, and it goes through like what? With him in it, goes through a door, walls. Uh, one point, I guess, what would you would what would be considered an attractive female Lee. duck? Well, anyway, she's she's singing to herself, and that's the the, the moment where you see the second pair of duck boobies. Yeah. There's duck nipples there. Yeah, it's very awkward. I don't I don't know why it needed to be included. Well, that that one of the questions you were like, this is a PG film. Like, yeah, that's also <laughs> I felt like we should have mentioned that in the beginning. This film was rated PG, and within the first five minutes of the film, there are duck breasts with nipples in the 80s yeah no wonder 80s kids are fucked up <laughs> i won't deny a thing yeah um so and also just so you guys know Mar marvel owns owns howard the duck he's, he's one of their creations i mean he even says in the back here yep and it, this i think it was a lucas film was it not not it was uh, oh look george yeah. lucas presents yes yes george lucas presented this dumpster fire to the world <sighs> Put like a bad explosion effect. There was a lot of those in this movie. Yeah, um, there was a whole lot of 80s special of effects. I mean, I, granted, maybe it's just one of those things where I'm like, I've gotten spoiled. It's it's well, it, it 80s was different, a different time with special effects. It was. It was a different time. It was a different in place. In general, movie ratings did not hair fucking matter. Hair was this big. Yeah. And, uh, but I think the most impressive thing about the hair was as they would dance, it didn't fucking move. Well, she did this. Well, you even said this. She had hair out to here that didn't fucking move to just explain how much Aquanet was used in the creation of this film. Yeah. And she did this like hair flip thing and like yeah. nothing moved. Like her face I moved. She was having a seizure. She's heads going all around. But no movement on that hair. I'm pretty sure she could have suffered some sort of cranial impact and been fine. The hair would have stopped it. <laughs> she had gotten like a, a, in an accident on a motorcycle. Yeah. The other person no, would have been screwed. No helmet required on, on him. She would have put a dent in whatever, like, it, or a hole in whatever. Yeah. So Howard gets to Earth on this, uh, I want to say this, like, vortex of... It's like a teleportation beam. But there's uh, no teleport. It's He's going through space. But I, I, yeah, I, okay, thinking like tractor beam. That's how I think... Yeah, that's what it looks yeah. like, honestly. But the thing is, is at a point where, like, he's flying through space, wheeling around... Yeah, the shit. entire time. I think at some point across the millions of miles of space, you just go, oh, okay, I'm not... Not going anywhere. I don't understand the flailing. I'm going somewhere, the, right? I might as well just let entire, it happen. Yeah, I don't understand the flailing the entire time he Well, it wouldn't have been space. dramatic, I guess. Yeah, this is true. Because at one point I'd been like, ah, and the next minute I'd be like, uh, fuck it. <laughs> Just get there when I get there. God, what time is it? Oh, oh, okay. That's what we were doing throughout the movie. Yeah. How, how long is this movie? I had too long. Too long? Are you telling me you didn't have fun? No, I had a great time talking okay. shit about this movie. Okay. So, <laughs> gets your, he meets the, the heroine. Yes. Wish I had some heroin. I... I may develop an addiction after this film. 
I'm going to need something to he take meets, the edge off tonight. He meets the, the, the heroine, the girl, the love interest, I guess we can say. I guess eventually it becomes love interest because, I mean, it does kind of seem like she's going to give the old duck a wank, duck if you know what I mean. Yeah, oh, there, was a, there might have been a duck wank if people didn't interrupt, but that's later on. That's true. There was a duck blocking. <laughs> Glad you used that. <laughs> you might have even said there was about to be some a ducking. So she, they get, they get together and they're like, honestly, it, it's almost. And she's a singer of a band. And, you know, See, a classic story: singer of a band walks down a dark alley. A couple guys accost her. Well, yeah. Howard the duck jumps to the rescue with his duck foo. Duck foo. Du I don't. I don't know. Duck. Duck foo. Duck foo. Yes, duck foo. <sighs> There's some great wrist control, though. You know, did those tiny little hands manage to get... He did a flip at one point, didn't he? I believe so. Like he jumped on there top was, of the trash can? Yeah, there was... Uh, I mean, picture, I don't know, Steven Seagal in a duck suit, and you <laughs> understand the martial tall. arts that were... Oh, occurring. yeah, it's, it was... Yeah. yeah. Um, see, though, I have a love for this movie, even though it's so bad. Yeah, it's so not. I don't get me wrong. I was entertained while watching it, but I mean, if if you try and provide a critical analysis of this film, you're going to question your decisions. Like, why did I watch this <laughs> well, film? Why am I now making a video talking about this film? <laughs> all all things that have run through my mind <laughs> in the last couple watching, hours. Why are you watching said video? I was talking yeah, about. Yeah. This. Then then that's now where we get to why why are you still watching this? I don't. We love you. I mean, thank you. Please subscribe. <laughs> I'd I like to pause on that yeah, for a moment. Yeah, please pause on that. I want to hear what you have to say. All right, so I, I get it. She was about to be the victim of a, a violent, violent, some sort know, of crime. crime. A three foot two inch. I will always remember that because of how upset he was in the film when they called him three foot one. Yes. Every inch matters. <laughs> MRI ladies. Especially. She takes him home with her. So I just kind of want to break that down. This is a duck that talks and has arms. She's not freaked out. And hands. Totally cool with it. Hey, Howard, do you want to come home with me? Be like, what the fuck are you? <laughs> you <almost> fired. <laughs> no, no. Stop it with his shoe. Yeah, no. Just go ahead and come back to my place. That don't fly. But I digress. So they make it back to... Her, her place, her home. Shitty apartment. Her homestead. Well, the the when they first walk in, it looks like shit. But it then, looked like an abandoned house at yeah. first. I was like, she's a fucking squatter? Yeah. And then they go into this, like, warehouse-looking area. And that, that looked okay I, at that I point. I believe it would be called a loft. A loft? I believe it would call, be called yes. homelessness. <laughs> Borderline homelessness. <laughs> Building probably should have been condemned. Definitely a slumlord involved in this situation. <laughs> she sucked her way off to that apartment. My manager set me up with it. The rent's super cheap. Oh, you yeah. Know, I'm yeah. pretty sure Howard caught some diseases just walking in. Just walking. Why? Oh, oh, I caught myself on a, a, a... I don't know what the hell that was. Just immediate lock jaw. Well, I guess lock beak, if lock you will. Beak. But yeah, it's just... The duck puns in this movie. <laughs> They Everything are. Was they are a plenty. Quack foo. Yes. Was one of them. Uh, duck. Been proud of it. Later on. Yeah. So, okay. So they're in this apartment, and you can see like from the first few seconds, she's automatically in love with him. Yeah. She definitely had. I. She wanted to jack that duck. She wanted. She wanted. The, she wanted Ducky Dick. Mm -hmm. She gave him a nickname. Called him Ducky. Ducky. Yes. Even though his fucking name is Howard, and he says it many a time, shit, I almost felt like that was derogatory. Like, hi, I'm Howard. Oh, Ducky, do you want to come with me? <laughs> it's almost like... That's like, like if I named you, it nicknamed you Humany. <laughs> hey, Humany, let's go. <laughs> come on with me, homo sapien. Yeah. <laughs> this way. Uh, I'm already traumatized enough for this film, but let's continue. <laughs> she gets like a, what, a kind of a, a lead on how to send him back. This, Tim, Tim Robbins. Yeah, just where Tim Robbins shows up. but Who will for, forever be known to me as Andy Dufresne from The Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. Did, <coughs> oh, by the way, let's, let's, did this movie, like, did you look at this and go, what the fuck were you thinking? The way I looked at this movie and these actors' lives is 
Everyone was young once and made poor decisions. <laughs> some That's people film. do porn. Some people do Howard the Duck. I think I'd rather do porn. <laughs> it would bring less shame to my family. This movie is probably one of the first Marvel, like I think I said this right, but it was probably yeah. one of the first Marvel movies, um, like big movies, you know, because of the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe now. Uh, and I think a lot of people look back at that and go like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that they've tried to disown this movie. <laughs> like, if everyone was like, oh, look at all the, if they did, I'm like a, I don't know, a collection. All the Marvel movies that they've ever made, this fucking thing is left off that list. I guarantee it. <laughs> Howard what? Yeah. Hey, did you guys make Howard the Duck? No. That was DC, bro. That's <laughs> that why was... I was all fucked up. <laughs> DC fucked that movie yeah. all up. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys own the rights to that? Just shut up. Tim Robbins' character starts, you know, kind of essentially theorizing that in the same way that those of us on Earth that have evolved from monkeys to our current form, that a similar thing happened on Howard's world, and that instead ducks became the... Homo duckians? Yeah, I think that was actually what I think they were that was what? called. Ducko sepi- sapiens? Uh, maybe. I Ducks, I don't remember. It was, it was, but it was a play on they, words. They really went there with the duck puns. Well, the thing is, is there was this, and I, you, you kind of explained it, but it, it's funny how you explained it. Like you knew. Like, yeah. There's this thing where they're standing in front of uh, the, the Homo sapien chart. Yeah, every, yeah everyone and, knows it, you know, monkey, and then modern human. So, mo- so we have the modern human, and out of nowhere, like, you see this, like, like it lights up, and it's the duck version of it. And I'm and I'm looking at this guy. I'm like, do they got that just sitting around just for this occasion? Or that was a visualization. It was, you know, it was to, in their heads is what to help, saying. you know, convey this point of, oh, look at all of the the ducks that have evolved <laughs> into this current duck fucking monstrosity. So yeah, and he says like they lose their wings and they grew hands and they hands mm, hands yeah. Three foot two duck. Four with fingers. Hands. Four fingers. Over yeah, here. four fingers. Yeah. No thumb. That's what separates us from the primates. <laughs> Howard ain't having it. He's pissed off at this point. Uh, as 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 he's trying to explain this to him, he doesn't like the fact that uh, that he's getting this from basically a janitor. Yeah, Tim Robbins is very low on the totem pole at the museum. He makes it seem like he's you know a scientist, but he's a lab assistant. He's a janitor in a lab coat. Yeah, pretty much. Unfortunately. He's about as much of a scientist as if Wild or I put on a white lab coat. Which I think we'd, lo- we'd look pretty cool in one. I would say so, but I would also be probably as knowledgeable as, as, as Tim Robbins' character. Yes. Howard goes off in a, a hiss. He's pissed off. In a, and Tim Robbins' character is all about like trying to make that money. He's like, yeah. this, is, this, is the, this is the best discovery, yada, yada, yada. It's an, you know, he doesn't quite get He's going to be with the greats. Yeah. You know, he's going to be in up there head. with Darwin, get his own Nobel Peace Prize. And Howard, rightfully so, feels exploited. And then he and, what's her name? I've already blocked it from memory. Mm-hmm. Leah Thompson. Leah Thompson. For memory. Yeah, just everything. I'm just straight up men in black memory wipe. Uh, they get a, a big fight, and Howard, I'm going to make it on my own, which, let's break that one down real quick. Um, Howard is on a planet millions of miles away from his home planet. Looks nothing like the rest of the population here, and every time someone sees him, they scream. But he's going to make it on his own without the assistance of the only person that has acted in his best interest. Uh, normally around him. Actually, I acted normally. Yeah. But then I, again, there's acted a, normally, I, I back. There's took a, care of him. There's a few people that act normally. Like, I would scream and run. Like, I think most normal people would go, what the fuck? And I, don't, the other I don't think I would scream and run, but there definitely would I'd be... I'd kick it. <laughs> It would be one of the, you know, like when you're in public and you see something, you're like, oh my God, and you do it like quietly and politely and no one knows. I'd be full volume. What the fuck is that? Lock the doors, kids. Lock yeah. Them. We're not, we are not, we're in a bad part of town. Yeah. Kill it with fire. Kill it with fire. Let us go. But that's the thing, it gets me. So that's far, like, even the first people he interacts with, they're like, what the fuck is this? And that's as far as it goes. Yeah. Then they try and like kill him. I, I Which, see nothing wrong with yeah. that decision. Well, yeah. Three foot two duck that talks and has arms comes at me. I'm drop kicking it. <laughs> no questions asked. And then setting it on fire. The next scene after that is, of course, him trying to get a job. 
Yeah. He's at the, the unemployment, unemployment office. Unemployment agency, yeah. Talking to a lady who's basically telling him, hey, you're a piece of shit. What is her name, too? It was a w wonderful name. It's like Carmisha or something like that. Carmina. 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 Was it Carmina? Carmina don't take shit from nobody. That was one line in there that I was like, I, I need to reference this later. And he got a job. He did. She yes. got him a job. She got a duck from another planet. A job. That's it. Carmina, she, she knows her shit. I'll, I, I'm going to go to her. She deserves a raise. I'm going to go to her yeah. if I ever get employed. Mm -hmm. But the job she gave him was what? How, How to even describe this establishment? Um... More or less a whorehouse. Yeah, think whorehouse with hot tubs. Again, PG rating. <laughs> the 80s. Parental guidance suggested, but let's be honest, PG, you go, eh, maybe there's some bad words in it. No. No. There were actually no bad words in this movie. No, no, there were. There were. They said shit and some other Did things. They? Yes. I see. I like, missed that. This is where the captions came in for me. Oh, yeah. But a lot of the, like, the name calling, like, I think the word palooka was used at one point. Yeah. I think, yeah, they, they, they went out of their way, like... It's like when you watch an R-rated movie on TV and bullshit becomes bull snot and you know it just feels wrong. That's how a lot of it was. However, there were also topless women in this PG-rated movie. So well, not only did you see the duck titties... Topless ducks. Yeah. No, there oh, were... The women in... Were the they? spa were not wearing. Oh, I didn't notice that. Okay. Now, and I don't believe that there was like full, on you know, yeah. full on top. Side boob. Showing. Definitely a lot of side boob. Okay. Right. There was some double D side boob. So he's, he's a towel boy slash water expert yes. at a pool slash whorehouse. Whorehouse with spas. What would you call that? Mm. House of Holes? Ooh, that is a good one. Yeah. Hot and steamy, Howard's wet, wet and wild. He, de he ends up like, the, the, his boss is a dick, like a real yeah. dick. Basically throws him in the water and he... he Not basically, his, literally. Literally throws him in the water. While two people are... Fucking. Straight, straight up making... At the very the least, room. they are making out, but... I'm sure there's that underwater there's something going on. Yes. And he got to see it. Yeah. Howard goes, thrown straight into the water. These people, they don't, they don't even flinch. Just, They're still fucking. Just keep going. Hey, There's a giant duck. That man is paying by the hour, right? He doesn't have time to fuck with a duck that just got thrown in as fun. Because number five had a blocked water jet, and that <laughs> needed to be taken care of. It was blocked probably. With semen. With semen. There was some primordial goo, primordial yeah. goo in that shit. So, and the, when he drops him in, he, he announces, I can't swim. And he's like, oops, I, oops, I slipped. The boss does. Yeah. And uh, so Howard goes into the room where it was like, I, it was explained earlier. God, I am hoping it was a mud bath. I'm hoping Just so to too. give you an idea of the sludge that the owner was working in, we are crossing our fingers and praying that it was a mud bath. It looked like a whole lot of shit. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so Howard walks in and literally slips. Yeah, does the full-on risky business slide? Yeah, and shoves his shoves that boss, boss into right the right in. Please God, let it be a mud bath. So Howard pushes him in, says, "Oops, I slipped," and then announces he quits. Yeah, Howard obviously is not made out for the working world. No, because he's a three-foot, two-inch duck. <laughs> he was working at a fuckhole place. He was working. At a yeah, because that was that was the biggest problem here. Yeah, not that. Howard could have made it. It was just that shitty no. Carmina put him in a terrible job that he couldn't do. No. Yeah, no, look at it. Look at it from like little Sam Three Six eyes, like from young. Like, yeah, he was. He little was little Sam Three Six would have been fucking traumatized. Absolutely <laughs> that would have been traumatized up by the guy who played Doctor Jennings. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure <laughs> what did I say? that Jeffrey Jones, who plays Dr. Jeffrey. Jennings in this movie, he plays this before he gets his victims, because then they're really fucked in the head <laughs> before he does his creepy shit. The Dark shit. Overlord needs to an yeah. answer you. <laughs> yeah, that's the Dark Overlord. We'll, <laughs> we'll get, to, we'll get that. to that that in a bit. We'll so, get to that. So, now, now that Howard realizes that 
He's not made out for the working world. He's, he's just, just wandering along. He's adrift. In, he's very sad. As he says it, sad Cleave news. Land. Cleave Land. He's uh, really a duck without a home. And or a cause. And a duck without a planet. And it's just wandering around. Well, and did then, you at least feel for him at that point? Eh, kind of. Did the sad music help at all? Eh, yeah, a little bit. Tugged at the old heartstrings here and there. Howard ends up wandering back to uh, where actually he entered Earth. Why not? He, he, really horribly, actually. Yeah. He did like a Fucking flip, hit, hit his head on went something. Went through a sign, went through a, a ten overhang. Because I, here's the thing. In movies, I have seen a shit ton of people fall through a ten overhang. Never actually seen one in real life. Ever. Never seen a duck fall through one. Yeah. You know, feeling sorry for himself and just the state of woe. Mm -hmm. He hears the rock music of his... What was that band? Cherry Bombs? I believe it was the Cherry Bombs. Uh, with Leah Thompson as the lead singer. And so then Howard goes into the, the bar to investigate. Because I know everyone's going to find this as a real big surprise. Because in no way are all 80s movies alike. In that the male lead and the female lead. He gets together. Oh, we're so great together. We're going to conquer this, achieve that. Whatever the case may be. There was a problem and at then, one point. Then there's a, an issue. Oh, no. I Never speak to me again. And then... The male lead comes back and, oh, I was wrong. That's how you know it's fiction. The man fucking admitted he was wrong. <laughs> so, then, so then Howard goes into the bar and in true 80s film fashion, earns back the trust, yes. dare I say it, love of, of Leah Thompson. Thompson by beating up her creepy manager and his two friends. Who was out at the point, that point, telling his friends that he was going to bed her or attempt to bed her. And if she didn't, more or less, fuck him, that she wasn't she getting the money. She wasn't getting paid. Yeah, she wasn't getting paid. Right. Well, it makes me wonder, how did she get paid before that? Oh, that's the thing. She wasn't getting paid. Oh, there you right? go. So we're talking she about got that apartment you know, somehow. Yeah, that's, that is very true. I feel like Harvey Weinstein might have been the inspiration for <laughs> this manager. <laughs> So, yeah, he, he, he is like, he basically, again, true 80s fashion, walks up and they're bad-mouthing Leah Thompson's character. Was her name Bethany or some shit like that? or mm, I can't remember. That, anyway, yeah, Leah about Thompson's right. character. And, and he's like, I, I don't like hearing you talk about that so-and-so like that. And then, I mean, and instead of going, the fuck is that? You know, and, and maybe backing off or doing something or maybe bunt kicking it like we were talking or telling you with fire. <laughs> yeah. They they ridicule Howard, and they talk shit, and it becomes like a they, joke. They know? talk shit to a three foot two inch duck, with hands. And then they do. I can't more stress or less this enough. This entire movie is centered around a three foot two inch duck with hands. So what they do is they grab him at one point and they put him on the bar, and then. Just about Again, every movie. standard 80s fashion. Take him on the bar and throw him and down. He, he goes all the way down like an in, you know, in, in, in real, life, real life we looked at each other and I think that you wouldn't go more than like three feet. Have you, it would just be that, uh, like every bar, bar surface is really slippery. Like, yeah, no, I've never come across a bar. I've been to a lot like of bars in my life. Yeah. Never been thrown down one. 80s, you have let me down. Yeah. Never even seen someone get thrown down one. No. I feel like it should be an every weekend occurrence. As much as it happens in movies. Yet another example of Hollywood continuing to lie to us. So he gets up. He's really pissed off. And he starts, without, without getting he through all the bullshit. He uses his duck foo to defeat his enemies. However, shout out to the bartender that handed him the full <laughs> bottle of vodka to crack over somebody's face. Because he's yes. holding it there like he was waiting. Like, like. I, he was everyone, and everyone was, was happy about this was, fight. He was holding it with, you know, the stem right for like where you're gonna grip it to crack something. He had it up way. It's like not it was like Excalibur. It's and not shit. like he was holding it for it. Oh, he, he was wasn't absolutely just. He like, was yeah. He was holding it out like, take this, dude deserved it. It seemed like everyone was happy about this fight. Well, I mean, let's be honest. You've watched a three foot two inch duck with hands kick some ass. 
True. I mean, I'm going to cheer him on. He definitely okay. had a career in, M right. in MMA if this, if it was these days, like if it was now. I don't think so. Why? Because he's three foot fucking two inches tall. So that happens. He basically goes in you know, after the fight, gets the money from the, um, from the yeah, manager. Takes it from the manager. Also make not sure that, hey, your contractual <laughs> attachment to this band is over. Kick rocks. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Woo, Howard, save the day. Yeah. So he goes in the back to the, to talk to the girls, and all the girls are happy to see him. Like they like they knew Howard. who he was. Well, they did because she. Yeah, well, I get that. Him. Right but, here again. Another question. Pause for a moment. We'll break mm -hmm, this down. Go for it. If you came to me and said, <laughs> "Hey, after last night's gig, I was walking through an alleyway when these two guys attacked me." And a three foot two inch duck with hands saved me. I'd be what the fuck are you on, sweetheart? We're going. We're taking to you a drug house. Yeah, we're, 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 we gotta you get you detox. You need to detox. There is a problem. You're on something that you saw some weird shit. It's time to it's time to come clean. However, these women did nothing of the sort, and then cheered. I feel like though they cheered because they were. It was one of those because it was their friend. They were like. Mm. Girl's kind of fucked in the head, but <laughs> hey, she's our friend. She's the lead singer of the band. Maybe we just ignore this one for a few. Maybe, maybe I think yeah, you know, she might have popped a few pills. And then know. when the Howard the Duck actually shows up, they're kind of like, oh fuck, we freak out. She wasn't, she wasn't lying. You exist, right? Yeah. So that like points to like the fact that they weren't gonna believe their friend, but then they also well, didn't what about make that any apology? attempt to help her. The apology he made when he walked in what wasn't really an apology. It's just like. They didn't even really apologize to each other. He no. just walked in like, hey toots. Hey, hey toots, I'm here. And she's like, oh, how did the world treat you? Hi, uh, ducky. Yeah. Yeah. And he just grunted, uh, how did the world treat you? Uh, about how you expect, you know? Yeah. Again. That's also how I feel about how the world treats me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, but how you expect. Well, you are like a, what, 5'11 douchebag. That's a fair point. <laughs> I'm also meant to have hands. If he had wings, I'd be fucking worried. Yeah, right. If I had <laughs> wings, if I had wings, then then you would try to kill me with fire. <laughs> yeah, kill you with fire. So Howard and Leah they make up and do all that, and then Tim Robbins' character actually finds out how Howard got here, and it was through. Well, he has a theory. No, because that's remember when he tells he's going to meet no, with his he's, friend uh, on the. Yeah. Well, no, well, he doesn't know. He went, he's gonna, he went through a couple of theories and a couple of different things. Which but, Howard didn't like any of them. Which yeah. Of course, I. I don't yeah. Mind. And then he goes, well, I'm going to meet with a colleague. And when he runs yeah, out that's what he said. That knows how you got there. Yeah. So he didn't know. So then they meet with the colleagues. So Howard meets those colleagues while... Okay. So after the last scene where, where Tim Robbins goes... So Howard goes home with the with Leah Thompson. Mm -hmm. They're, he's staying at her place that night. She, here she is in her panties and they're talking back and forth. And they, first, first red flag... They get in the bed, the same bed together. I felt like the first red flag was when she spent a, a inordinate amount of time bent over on the bed. Oh yeah, like in, she's inviting him her, to come. Just her panties and like a thin spaghetti strap shirt. Pulls hard and everything. Yeah, yeah it was. So, yeah, that that, is, okay. I take that, it back. That is the first red flag. I mean, <laughs> short of writing him a card that said "Howard, let's fuck," <laughs> I I can't think of anything more inviting. Than, than that. that, yeah. And then they finally they get in bed together, which okay, second red flag. But they're just really good friends, Wild. No. no, no. And as a kid, you look at this. As a kid, I remember watching this as a kid, growing up, looking at this, going, "Oh, that's cute." It's yeah. Love. As a kid, you probably were like, "Oh, that'd be awesome to have a duck best friend, and we get up sleepovers together, and we can sleep in the same bed, right?" No. No. You're fucked up. It's just kind of. What the fuck is wrong with you? A lot. Especially now. <laughs> yeah, this this did not help. So, no, like, I, I, I thought it was just love. It was cute. That was sweet. But no, as an adult, it just fucking, you, you, you're looking at all this shit and your mind is going like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? You're like, hmm, this feels strange. This is, something's wrong here. Maybe because there's a duck in bed with this bitch. Hey, then again, it feels like the precursor to furries. Maybe. Right? Maybe. I guarantee you. Maybe not even dress like Howard. Just there is someone that dresses up in a duck costume and fucks somebody else dressed up as an animal. <laughs> and somebody needs to drop that in the comments. 
There is proof. I, I am not going to get raided by the FBI while looking for it. <laughs> However, I need someone to just go ahead and post that in the comments so that way I can be proven right. <laughs> Thank you in advance. The internet is a weird it, place. It exists. It yeah. fucking exists. I know it does. <laughs> Oh God! You're just, oh God! Yeah, you're thinking you're about opening, it now. No, you're opening a whole fucking. See, here's the thing: is somebody's fucking sexual fantasy is to have their girlfriend dress up like Leia Thompson, and they dress up like Howard oh. the Duck and fuck with just a little circle cut out for their their dick to cut, come through. I fucking guarantee it. I, I, I I'm also going to need someone to Google that and post the code comments, know, cause that comments because that also exists. I don't know if I should be horrified because you took it to that level or if I should be horrified that this movie made you say that. What did I do to him? Broke me. I'm a broken man. Broken. I come to you a broken man today to tell you about this dumpster fire of a movie. Yeah, it's very sexually tension. It's very risque, risque, if you will. Oh, God, yes. And then next thing you know, she's kind of all up on him, kind of, I want to like kiss. right here. How would you mean good night, kid? Put her hand in his little button up. And he's like moaning and, and shit. He's like, ooh. Yeah. His little head feathers pop up. Yeah, that's not For a... sure something else popped <laughs> out under the sheets. And right about this time, well, you get to see that silhouette of him yeah, kissing. Yeah, so, uh, you know, kind of, I wouldn't, I don't know, I felt like there was always a gap, but it just looked like they were kissing. And she's kind of like leaning over him, you know. And uh, also, I still don't know why there was a fucking curtain there, but anyway. Probably <laughs> just to set the scene it for was, the silhouette. It was, it was a plot device and or yes. that place was also a fucking warehouse. Yeah, that's true. So, it was the wall. <laughs> the makeshift wall. So now Tim Robbins and his colleagues burst in to see this. That Into her house. Warehouse. Her warehouse. Yeah. Her door was open is what she would they say. I mean, Because they're getting ready for bed. Yeah. Like, what's... Bed. That's a dick move. Is, so he got duck block, like you said. Yeah, got duck block. He got duck block. I think for sure if Tim Robbins didn't show up, there was, at minimum, there was going to be a consolation hand job. She'd have got quacklings. Fucking terrible. <laughs> Leah Thompson, woo! <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> so that's then when Howard finds out how he arrived to Earth was due to a scientific project. Gone that, awry. Yeah, gone awry. Just a, they were trying to target some shit in space. They got their coordinates wrong, which imagine Ooh. that with the size of space. That <laughs> <laughs> got those wrong. However, then they went, well, shit, if we do some really scientific shit that they mentioned that I can't recall. They'd re reverse it. Yeah, essentially they'd reverse it and they'd ship Howard back. So then they're they, gonna do it that night. Like, it, that's right. It was it was a big thing. So Howard gets dressed. Leah Thompson gets dressed. They're heading back to the lab. Doctor Jennings, who was, was already played there. by Jeffrey Jones, the pervert, was already <laughs> there. Probably because there were young boys at the lab that day. <laughs> and once they arrive, uh, there's been an accident. In fact, you see a man who <laughs> looks very similar to Two Face. <laughs> for those familiar with the Batman universe, uh, stumble by. Mumbling it went wrong. Da, da, da. Yeah, it went so explains wrong. what happened. And no one stops and goes, Hey, bro. Want to go to the doctor? Do you want me to call an ambulance? Do you want me to hit three <laughs> fucking digits on a phone and call 911 for you? <laughs> he stumbles nope. by. You see him nope. going out the door as they walk. They continue walking no, after he gives an explanation. Like, hey, fuck that guy. What's, what's going on here? Bro back there had half his uh, He's face purple. melted off. I'm kind of curious to see what's over here. <laughs> so they find out that Dr. Jennings, when it, he, he got the blunt of the explosion. Which apparently this was not the first explosion because of the phrase, it exploded again, uh -huh. was uttered more than once. Yes. They, they tried, they failed. Uh, it, it bounced, it, they find out like it bounced off a nebula. Probably later on they find that out. Yeah. But uh, so the cops come. Like the cops basically come and arrest everybody. Because, For, because that's what they do. Yeah. Well, this is also, you know, not sanctioned experiments that are going on. So then Howard escapes from the police. And uh, the order is given well, they to... Well, they find Dr. Yeah, well, that's what the order yeah. is given to shoot on site, so they know they've got to get out of there. 
That's when they find Dr. Jennings, and the three of them escape through the back gate of a very large medical research facility that has no guard and a fucking padlock that was on so a easy chain to break. link fence yeah. as the top tier security for this way. To get into where they were, there were like three or four different security checkpoints. Well, exception of the one where they had to push the button behind the stupid counter. Yeah. That was pretty bad. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it was, it was, it was dumb as fuck. It was a different time. So Everybody they, was high on cocaine. They get away, and the whole time, Dr. Jennings is telling them, there's something inside of me. There's yeah. da -da -da, I feel Insides. like something's changing, and I'm dying. And, and then his voice Thompson starts just thinks that he needs to take a shit. Yeah, more or less. Do you need a bathroom? Do you need a bathroom? Like, there's a duck right fucking there. This guy can't be possessed. Yeah. I mean... It's not, not really that much of a jump. <laughs> it's not. So as you find out... A duck uh, she almost had sex with. I'm, see, here's the thing. I am not... I mean, there's no evidence that, you know, maybe after they told the colleague, hey, uh, go ahead and step out for a minute while we get dressed. And Quickie. Throw yeah. him a quick handy. It's certainly possible. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> work her way down that course, Work her way down. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, that's another thing. We talked about, we, we had mentioned how, because between the two of us, we were talking about how ducks are, like, very aggressive. Yeah, duck rape. It's a thing. Yeah. it's it, um, Google that, too. <laughs> no pictures necessary in the comments, though. Yeah. Just, I can't wait to see the comments on this. Uh, I'm so excited. So. I'm going to just keep refreshing. <laughs> yeah. Sitting there with his tongue out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah. What's new? What's it? Oh, oh my god, someone found fucking it. did it! Yeah. So, Pretty you should give them an incentive. Like, if they do it, you'll do something. Hmm. I'll have to ponder that. So. Because here's the thing I know that shit exists. And so. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what I want to end up doing. You know it exists. Here's the How thing. How you know it exists worries me. I. I. At this point, no matter how terrible of something you think of her. How much debauchery it is involved? It it's there. Somewhere. They get away. The first place they go is what, a diner? Yeah, it's uh Oh, I can't remember the name it of it. It was like place. A, it was like a yeah, it said something, but it was something sushi. It was Cajun a Cajun sushi. Cajun sushi, and they walk in and it's like this this old school like, like country diner. Yeah. And there's country music playing in the background. I was very, I was very confused. I saw yeah. not one sushi dish. No, not in there. Yeah. There's one Asian. There's one. At this point, like, what's Dr. Jennings is completely possessed. Yeah, he's completely possessed. The dark overlord of the universe. He changes has taken his over. voice. His just... his voice changes to to that, and he's just coward. He's like consistently finding like more and more powers that he has. He becomes more powerful, which I don't understand because I would think that he would just have his whole arsenal of powers right at the get go. But that wouldn't work as a plot device. No, so. they had to show his powers off too, like in in unnecessary ways, like blowing up a bottle of ketchup and mustard. Yeah, I think that was as he was like testing it out, like, oh, I got look what I can do. We have these powers developed now. So they end up having a card key to get back into the lab, and the dark overlord of the universe decides that he's going to bring friends to this particular party. Oh, it's yeah. yeah What's well, party without friends? That's it. Well, then a fight ensues in the Cajun sushi joint. Because of Howard? Because of Howard. As a lot of fights ensue because of Howard. Exactly. That's exactly where I was going with that. Uh, and actually, at one point, the entire restaurant teams up against Howard and ties him to a cutting board in the back. Celery? It, yeah, they're throwing like celery on him and, and like, parsley and shit. They're getting ready and to cook him. Yeah. He is what... I mean, it's not a goose, but his goose was almost cooked. Literally. Yes. And then Dr. Jennings, the dark overlord of the universe now, uh, uses his <laughs> slash. powers. Slash the dark Yeah, slash. Dark lord of the universe. Uses his powers to uh, save Howard so he can get the card back. And then he kidnaps uh, Leia Thompson, so that because the thing is with the dark overlords of the universe, they need a host at first to uh, uh, Dr. Jennings takes command of a bobcat, which those are my, that's the 
semi portion of a semi trailer, you know, just the truck, no trailer behind it, mm -hmm. and starts driving that down the road. <laughs> and then he needs more power. He's out of yeah. He's 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 in pain. At which point a how to even describe it? An, Ten, append a tendril? A, an appendage, some, yeah, almost like a tendril, comes out of his mouth and he puts it in the cigarette lighter socket of the truck. Um, it looks almost sexual. Well, the thing is, is that if you played that scene in reverse, it's probably actually what uh, Jeffrey Jones looked like circa 2002. <laughs> Are you pausing in just the right spot? Yeah, it's, it's coming in. <laughs> So, and then, so obviously uh, he doesn't eat few f human food. He eats he electricity. Needs electricity, power. At which point, then you find out more of just how much power he needs as he stops at the Cuyahoga nuclear power plant. I'm glad you remember the name of that. Right? Fucking stash that one away too. Stops at the Cuyahoga nuclear power plant to get more power, and somehow doesn't cause a nuclear meltdown similar to uh, Three Mile Island or Chernobyl. And just consumes all this extra power. And then finally... One million kilowatts. Yes. He was quite excited. Power. And then finally we make it back to the lab. I don't really understand how it seemed it took like 10 minutes to get away from the lab. And then come back. But Why weren't the cops there? Shoddy police work. Yeah. Well, Similar to when Howard was making his great escape in a... Uh, Rider, yeah, it was like rider, rider in the back, right? Yeah. And one of the cops saw them and then ran up to his <laughs> boss and goes, "Boss, they're getting away. <laughs> they're in the back with a glider." Yeah. <laughs> didn't, didn't didn't stop. Didn't stop to be like, "Hey, you're under arrest. Get out of the Freeze. glider. I will shoot you." No, none of that. Hey, boss, they're gonna get away. And so then you know you've got this kind of dueling uh, storylines as Dr. Jennings, also known as uh, the pervert. Uncle McTouchy? Yeah, the pervert. <laughs> as they, he's collecting more power and going back, Howard and Tim Robbins' characters are having hijinks aplenty oh, yeah. in their glider. Oh, the part where, where, the, where he, they shot it, he fixes it, and he's like dangling on it, and he's telling the cops, like, I'm not with this guy, he's a terrorist. Yeah. And then he gets back on the pl on the, the the glider, and he's like, "I'm glad to have your back." And he's, and he's all, "Good to be back, Howard." And he's like all fucking happy and shit. Yeah. Finally, uh, get back to the lab. Leia Thompson is tied down underneath those giant beam, and then you know, awaiting the arrival, almost insemination, if you will, of the dark overlords of the universe. Yeah, but remember, I said something about like they're walking into a porn, and then she moaned. Yeah. Looks like a porn set, and you hear her in the background. Ah! <laughs> yeah. And she's all tied up and, and shit. And she's tied up. Yeah. So, then as luck would have it, there just so happens to be the exact type of weapon they need to defeat the... The Neutron Disintegrator? I believe that's exactly what it was called. Okay, yeah. I, I, I stored that one away. Yep. Which uh, apparently was uh, created for the government... Cost too, too much, much money, money yeah. and all that. So then, you know, the normal 80s hilarity ensues. They're trying to battle the, the one -liners. Dr. Jennings. Yep, one-liners. Doesn't go, and you think all hope is lost. And at the last moment, Howard charges in. Oh, with that his, with that big-ass, like, cart thing, which is kind of yeah. cool. He, he, he just, first blasts it Dr. out of yeah, Dr. Out of Dr. Jennings. Jennings. And then you get to see this, like, really bad... Oh, I want to call it CG, but I wouldn't even call it CG now. It's like stop motion. Yeah. And it looks more like uh, it, lo it, it looks like a giant lobster slash I don't know. Lobster with like almost like a scorpion, scorpion tail. Scorpion tail. Yeah. And at one point, one point he's in that he gets back. Uh, Howard gets back into that that little cart. And he runs over its fucking. <laughs> yeah. Runs over its tail. <laughs> it, is, it looks like it's all pissed off. Like it really hurt it. So he runs over his tail, and he looks like he's all pissed off. He shoots. And that's where this like show, showdown comes off. Yeah. Where it's one versus the other, and finally, finally, uh, Howard shoots it, and it basically blows up in this like unspectacular fashion. Yes. It was like it was like you're expecting a giant explosion, and you got a queef. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, when you light a firework, 
you're waiting, you see that fuse going, going, you're real excited, and then it doesn't do dick. It's kind of like that. So you're still scared to go like glide it? Yeah. <laughs> Please don't burn me. You just kick that one over. <laughs> They still have the problem of the stupid aliens coming down from the thing. Yes, the remaining dark overlords yes. of the universe. Yes, and we, we can't have dark overlords of the universe just roaming around. Bad news. Yes, it's, I mean... Real bad. There'd be a lot of people getting stung. Yeah, so, and no power. So the, the conundrum at this point is, does Howard shoot the only thing that can get him home? Or does he stay home and fuck Leah Thompson all day long? Well, pretty sure we all knew where this one was headed, <laughs> and unsurprisingly, rather than getting the fuck on out of there and getting back home, Howard blows up the ray so that way he can bang Leah Thompson on a quasi-regular basis. Until they get tired of each other and get a duck divorce. I don't think that she's going to get tired of that duck dick. She's gonna have to corkscrew herself. That's on. it. Oh my god! A lot of garbage and a lot of a lot of debris everywhere. And you're thinking Howard's dead. Yep. That's what they want you to think. And so she walks up and she's like crying. And they take this big ass piece off, uh, big ass like debris off of him. And she's like, Oh God, he's dead. He, he saved the world that didn't even care for him. Blah blah blah. And he just like gets up. I'm not Howard anymore. Yeah. And you know it. it uh, maybe because I've seen the movie, it, it, it just seems like it's fucking stupid at that point. Yeah. Like, I'm, like, okay. like, I'm just joking. He starts coughing. He's like, the smoky here will kill you. So it goes from there to like, he's they're all of a sudden, like the world's saved. And they're at this, they're at like the bigger, ver a bigger venue for their band. Right? Yeah. They're, the band is now much more successful with Howard as their uh, manager. Uh, manager. And then, of course, you know, hijinks ensue, and Howard, ends Howard up accidentally ends up on stage. And it was a very... Back to the future kind of moment. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. It's very... Back well, that's what I said when, when yeah. we watched it. I said, there's a lot of that going on in the 80s. There's a lot of, lot of things going on in the 80s. Yeah. And yeah. I, like I said, I think the words I said were, they took the best of a lot of movies and put it in there hoping it would be okay. It was not... <laughs> It, it, and so the ending goes it goes in the credits and they're still doing stuff and they go backstage and I think they kiss like mm, I, I, don't know. I think at that point we're just happy the movie's over with yes that's the end of Howard the Duck this is the first time this guy's seen it um, probably the last not probably definitely definitely the last what did you think all overall like good movie it's one of those like cheat I'm going to put it up there with Big Trouble in Little China. I love Big Trouble in Little China. It's a dumb fucking movie, but it's entertaining because of how dumb it is. Okay. I beg to differ with Big Trouble. Well, Big Trouble in China was a, was, had its dumb moments, but it was fun. This had its dumb moments, but it was fun too, but this was more dumb than fun. Yes. Yes. Big Trouble in Little agree. China was more fun than dumb. You know, yeah, it's good for a laugh. It's good for a chuckle. It's good for some duck titties. <laughs> if you're into that sort of thing. People certainly are. Go ahead and reach out in the comments, those of you that are, just so we can kind of keep track of you. You're a judgy bitch, you know that? I just kind of want to know what the people of the world are into. Right now, there is at least one person on this planet that has jacked it to those duck titties. And I'm going to go ahead and need you to write a little something in the comments so you can, you know, prove, prove me right. Me right. So, a one to ten, what would you give it? As like a movie itself, it's like a, a five or a six. So it is watchable. It, it's watchable. Anything over yeah. five is a watchable movie. It's watchable. However, like the amount of fun that I've had talking shit about it, solid ten. I'd give it maybe a six, seven, because I think it's it's, and that's also nostalgia talk. You know, it came out yep. when I was a kid, and I and. I mean, I hate to say this. this. I watched this. What do you mean it came out when you were I, a kid? Shut your fucking fa fuck hole, okay? <laughs> Never gets old. <laughs> Never gets so, old. So I watched this with my parents as a kid. This movie. And you wonder why he's fucked up. Well, it's PG. 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 Um, I guess with that said, guys, uh, if you want to watch it, watch it. If you haven't seen it, it's probably worth watching at least once in your life. 
At definitely least definitely with friends. Definitely with friends. Don't watch this alone. No. Unless this is kind of a kink for you. You're going to want some beers in you, too. Mm. The, actually, the drunker you are, probably the funner this yeah. movie becomes. You're going to have to be like three, four beers deep, and then, then pop this Maybe in. Maybe two or three friends. Then it becomes just a clusterfuck of comments. Yes. And that's, you actually won't even probably watch the fucking movie at that point. You'll be stuck on one scene, and it's probably when they, about the time they get, what, what did you say, duck blocked? Yeah, duck yeah, blocked. duck blocked. So, uh, with that said, guys, I think we're going to stop this podcast. I think we're done. This is the last month of movies. We may do this again in the future. I have a shit ton of movies we can talk about. Yeah. So, um, once again, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week on episode 114. 14. 114. And stay nerdy. Stay sexy. Always. Always.